The aircraft carrier is a defining feature of modern naval power, but have you ever wondered about its origins? Join us as we explore the inception and evolution of this maritime marvel, starting with the birth of the first U.S. aircraft carrier. As World War I came to an end, the U.S. Navy began to explore the concept of air power from the sea. This marked the beginning of a new era in naval warfare and the birth of the first U.S. aircraft carrier, the USS Langley. Commissioned in 1922, the Langley was a groundbreaking vessel designed to carry and launch aircraft, a revolutionary idea at the time. It was converted in 1920 from the Collier USS Jupiter, and also it was the U.S. Navy's first turboelectric powered ship. The propulsion consisted of two electric motors, each directly connected to a propeller shaft, powered by a single Curtis turbine and alternator set. At 2,000 revolutions per minute and 2,200 volts, the set delivered a speed of 14 knots, 26 kilometers per hour, 16 miles per hour, with propellers at 110 revolutions per minute. Langley was named after Samuel Langley, an American aviation pioneer. The USS Langley fought in World War II and on the 27th of February 1942, while ferrying a cargo of USAAF P-40s to Java, she was attacked by nine twin-engine Japanese bombers of the Japanese 21st and 23rd Naval Air Flotillas and so badly damaged that she had to be scuttled by her escorts. Jupiter was converted into the first U.S. aircraft carrier at the Norfolk Naval Shipyard, Portsmouth, Virginia. In 1927, Langley was at the Guantanamo Bay Naval Base. For the next 12 years, she operated off the California coast and Hawaii, engaged in training fleet units, experimentation, pilot training, and tactical fleet problems. On the 25th of October 1936, she put into Mare Island Navy Yard, California for overhaul and conversion to a seaplane tender. Though her career as a carrier had ended, her well-trained pilots had proved invaluable to the next two carriers, Lexington and Saratoga, commissioned on the 14th of December and the 16th of November 1927, respectively. Langley completed conversion on the 26th of February 1937 and was assigned hull number AV3 on the 11th of April. She departed for a brief deployment with the Atlantic Fleet from the 1st of February the 10th of July 1939 and then steamed to assume duties with the Asiatic Fleet at Manila arriving on the 24th of September. An unusual feature of Langley was provision for a carrier pigeon house on the stern between the five-inch guns. Pigeons had been carried aboard seaplanes for message transport since World War I, and were to be carried on aircraft operated from Langley and even thought the pigeons never went to sea and the former pigeon house became the executive officer's quarters. The early plans for conversion of Lexington and Saratoga included compartments for pigeons. With the ability to launch air raids on enemy ships and coastal defenses, the USS Langley represented a major shift in naval warfare. The carrier provided the U.S. with unprecedented mobility, allowing it to project air power from the sea and maintain naval superiority in the Pacific and Atlantic theaters. The Langley marked the beginning of a new era in naval warfare and solidified the U.S. Navy's position as a world leader. Despite its significance, the USS Langley faced many challenges in its early years. The aircraft technology of the time was still developing, and the crew had to overcome obstacles as they learned to operate and maintain the new aircraft. However, the Langley persevered and proved to be a powerful and versatile platform, paving the way for future aircraft carriers and advancing naval warfare. That's the story of the first U.S. aircraft carrier, the USS Langley. Its legacy lives on as a testament to American ingenuity and strength, inspiring the development of the massive and powerful aircraft carriers we know today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating facts.